we have decided not to include them in line with the purpose. Can you tell us more about this? Well, I, I said the state government is not in the business <coughs> of ranching or of uh, providing grazing land. However, there are communities who have land who as of today accommodate headers under some arrangements. So what I have suggested is that these communities should look at giving or making land available where when headsmen come in they can grow grass and charge them to head in specific areas and avoid getting them to uh, the, the headsmen to trespass other people's farmland because that is what creates the crisis. But these are all commercial transactions between either individuals, communities, and pastoralists. That is the point we made, that herding cattle is a business and it is not the state's responsibility to get into that business. So the, the pastoralists should go into business with They leaders. actually do it now. Because if we, what we found is that in most communities, when the pastoralists come in, they usually have an arrangement or an agreement with community leaders before they can graze in those communities. That is what exists today. But in some cases, that arrangement breaks down when some very young herders are not able to control their cows and they stray into other people's farmlands. That is the situation in many communities today. And we're saying, why not formalize it properly by designating areas with water and grass so that when they come, you must ask them to go into those areas, charge them whatever you usually charge them. But that will restrict them there so that they do not go and, um, and uh, trespass other people's farmlands and eat up their crops. And I think it's a reasonable thing to do. And these are the relationships that have spanned hundreds of years. So we can't wake up today and say, you know, <coughs> all of you go away. We don't want you. How are you going to get your protein? So you are at the meeting. Is this the same interpretation given to the Grayson Reserve's um, decision to last month? There are separate um, aspects. First, particularly in the north, where a lot of the headsmen reside or come from, they have traditionally had res reserves. And part of the decision is, now let us ensure that most headers are now made sedentary. They are now forced to or encouraged to move their cattle and graze in reserved land and not wander with those cattle across the country. <clears throat> and that open grazing is no longer viable. That is one decision we arrived at. And that um, states should be encouraged to support you know, the setting up of such um, grazing reserves. Uh, and that hasn't changed. Quickly, sir, your government said that some uh, Opposition politicians are trying to feed into the, cry, uh, the issue of uh, health something to create some crisis. What exactly are you talking about? Um, if you just go through some blogs and some of the narratives, the messages sent around, you know, um, around on online and social media, you can see a correlation. For instance, the people who are pushing the message that I have given. Uh, grazing land in a door. If you see them, they are the same blogs, the same people who were sponsoring opposition messages through my elections. <laughs> so clearly, if you're in my position, what will be your conclusions? So, but uh, apart from that, the people who have been pushing the narrative and just trying to create scare, trying to create trouble, are certainly not people who are in support of us. These are people who we defeated during the last elections. So clearly, you know, uh, yes, there's a, there's, we're not saying that we don't have challenges, we have security challenges, but leadership 
of people who have aspired to leadership that should not be irresponsible about trying to help resolve. You don't inflame a, ruddy, a, you know, a situation that's already uh, tenuous. And that's what we're finding. Out. Thank you. Well, I, I came to rub minds with the Chief of Staff. Um, we've been having challenges with um, what are not just only bandits in our forests, but illegal loggers. Um, there's been an, an invasion of our forests uh, with people just with armed loggers coming in to indiscriminately just log our forests. I'm sure you would have seen news about the um, Pomo National Park and the Pomo Forests. It's one of the last pristine rainforests we have left and the amount of logging by armed loggers in the last couple of months has been really troubling. And they're also affecting the wildlife. You know, that reserve um, hosts some very rare species of animals. And with this avalanche of loggers, we are losing them. Uh, and it's something of concern, so I came to rub minds with the Chief of Staff to see how the federal government can assist uh, with the national park guards with our own local guards and see if the military can give them back up. Any positive response? Definitely, definitely. Is this, why are you using this word interchangeably? Why am I using? Using these two words interchangeably. Um, with the reserves? And ranching. The difference with that and ranching. Well, well, reserves are areas where you have reserved for, for grazing to take place. Um, they could also be ranches. So, yeah, you can use them interchangeably. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.